Hi, this is Richard at Street and Circuit. This is a quick product, um, uh, product unboxing, product unbagging of a uh, Forge Motorsport bleed valve. So this is how the, the bleed valve comes. Nothing special for these, um, for these bleed valves. Just comes in a normal Forge bag. Same sort of bag that they send their springs in. So this is what you get. It's uh, silver in colour. And it's a universal product. And the bleed valve is designed to go between the, the boost outlet of the turbo and the, and the vacuum signal, boost signal, going into the actuator. So you have the inlet and the outlet, doesn't matter which way you go, unidirectional, or bidirectional I should say, uh, this valve. So you just plug the, the, one, uh, the boost signal in here and the outlet here, and this will go to your wastegate. This comes from the turbo outlet. And this has nothing on it. This is just uh, this just bleeds air to the atmosphere. It's lockable. You can see that there's a Allen key here. So once you get the boost set the way you want it, tighten this Allen key, and this tightens the um, this stops the knob from turning. So basically, what does it do? <coughs> it it reduces the signal that's going to the to the wastegate. So if you want to increase the boost, you need to stop the wastegate from opening or opening so much so soon so you use this you use this valve to bleed some of the the the, the boost away so the wastegate sees less boost so it doesn't start doesn't open so soon so basically this is a very quick inexpensive way of increasing the boost on your turbo engine uh, very simple to do you just need to well it depends on where you're going to mount it but maybe you can get away with using the original hoses it depends on your car um, don't go too crazy on this. Really, you should be watching the um, the air fuel ratios to make sure that you're getting enough fuel into the car. So a wide band oxygen sensor is a good thing to use with this, just so you can keep an eye on the engine. You don't want it going lean under boost. I'll put a link to um, uh, the wide band sensors we've got on the Street and Circuit website in the video description. Turn it over, same on both sides. Um, so that would be a good combination to get this along with a wide band oxygen just so you can make sure everything is working as it as it should be. Um, yeah, so that's basically a very simple device. Get get really good results with it. It's very simple and uh, it's, you get you know big power increases, but you do need to take it easy. Really, you should be having a, the a new map. To match the extra boost that you're running, but if you don't do go, don't go too crazy. Uh, use it with a wide band uh, sensor just to make sure you're not going lean. There's no reason why this can't be a reliable uh, modification for your car. Some of the newer cars may throw a, throw a fault code if you try to run too much boost, so you need to take that into consideration. And like I said, just just be sensible with it, and uh, you should be getting some decent power increases. And like I said, again, just for the safety sake of things, good to get good idea to get it with a wide band ox a wide band oxygen sensor, so you know your car's not going lean on on, on the boost. Um, so just have another quick look at it. See this this is um, this turns against the spring. This is adjustable here for pressure, just to bleed more or less uh, less pressure. And basically that's it. Very simple product. The code is um, FMBV. 050. I'll put a link to the product on the Street and Circuit website. We're in Thessaloniki, Greece. Delivery on these is usually one or two days maximum. If you've got any questions, uh, send, us a, send us a message. I'll put a link to the, the message section on our website. If you like the video, please subscribe. And uh, thank you for watching.